Hello traders, welcome back to Pips Traders YouTube channel. Thank you for your continuous support to my channel. I really appreciate your support. So today in this video, we are going to look at the price action in silver US dollar currency pairs. We we'll look at the price action from the daily time frame to 15 minutes time frame and we'll mark the current trend of the price action and present support and resistance levels for all the time frames. So I am in daily time frame now when we look at the price action in daily time frame after testing the resistance level of 26.91 we have noticed a price action to continue falling on a bearish side trend reversal and we have noticed a price action to take support around the support level of 17.81 and from this support level we have noticed a price action to bounce back on the bullish side retracement. So the current trend of the price action is still in a bullish trend because it has not broken the previous low of 23.06. Let us draw a trend line to understand the current trend of the price action. So I have run a bullish channel pattern where we have noticed a price action to take support on this bullish channel pattern support line and to bounce back on the bullish side retracement but again on the bullish side also we are noticing a very strong resistance level around the level of 24.30 so when we look at in the past price action this level had acted as a very strong support level and currently we are noticing this level to be acting as a very strong resistance level due to which we are noticing the price action to be trading on a sideways momentum but still you can notice that it is taking support on the bullish channel pattern support line so soon we can expect a directional breakout as the consolidation continues since it was already in a bullish trend and it is trying to form a ascending triangle pattern there are more chances for the price action to continue the previous trend which is the bullish trend once it gives a breakout from the resistance level of 21.30 level but I would recommend you to wait for the price action to give a proper breakout from this resistance level in order to enter into the bullish side trade in daily time frame and if the price action fails to break this resistance level of 24.30 Wait for it to break the support line from the bullish channel pattern in order to enter into the bearish side trade in which case it has to break the previous low of 23.0 which means that we can expect a bearish side trend reversal and next level of support is going to be the midline of this bullish channel pattern and only when the price action breaks this midline we can expect it to take support on the bullish channel pattern support line or the trend line. Once the price action breaks this trend line, it will be the bearish side trend reversal in daily time frame also. Till this level, it will only be a retracement. It will not be a trend reversal on the bearish side. We can expect the price action to take support and to bounce back on the bullish side retracement when it is trading within this support zone. And when we look at the Fibonacci levels using the Fibonacci tool, Currently the price action is finding resistance around the resistance level of 78.60 percentage in the Fibonacci retracement tool which is around 24.52 level. So it has to break this resistance level in order to continue its bullish side trend in daily time frame also. Or on the bearish side it has to break the 61.80 percentage level which is around 23.03 in order to make a BRE side retracement in daily time frame. So current price action is on a sideways momentum trading between this 78.60 percentage and the 61.80 percentage of the Fibonacci retracement tool. So the values within this red color boxes are the resistance and support levels for daily time frame. Currently the price action is trading between the resistance level of 24.53 and support level of 23.04 wait for the price action to give a breakout from this consolidation on the bearish side which means it has to break the support level of 23.04 and next level of support is going to be around 21.98 20.93 and 19.62 or wait for the price action to give a breakout from this consolidation on the 
bullish side which means this has to break the resistance 53 and next level of resistance it's going to be around 26.41 and if you are a scalper you could be trading within this resistance and support levels in the lower time frames let us look at the price action in 4 hours time frame I'm in 4 hours time frame and previously we have noticed a price action to be trending on a bullish trend trading within this bullish channel pattern from the 4 hours time frame and after testing the resistance level of 24.53 from the higher time frame we have noticed a price action to make a bearish side retracement and overall when we look at the price action it was trending on a bullish trend in the past and it trended on the bearish side and again it has trended on the bullish trend which means that it is trading within a range between 24.53 and 23.04 on a sideways price action it has not made new highs or it has not made new lows and as long as the price action is trading within this support level and the resistance level we can expect the range bound market to continue in 4 hours time frame also let us look at the price action in hourly time frame I am in hourly time frame and we know from the higher time frame that current price action is trading on a sideways momentum within the support level of 23.02 and resistance level of 24.53 on a sideways price action. Currently the price action is in a bearish trend and we have noticed a price action to take support on the bullish channel pattern support line from the daily time frame. Wait for the price action to break this resistance line from the 4 hours time frame in order to freshly enter into the bullish side trade and the target is going to be around 24.53 and if the price action bounces back from this resistance level wait for the price action to break the previous low which is going to be around 23.75 based on which you can freshly enter into the bearish side trade and the target is going to be the support line or a trend line from the daily time frame once the price action breaks this support line next level of target is going to be around 23.02 so i have drawn a support line or a trend line for the hourly time frame also wait for the price action to break this trend line in order to get the confirmation on the bearish side trend reversal and wait for the price action to break the previous low of 23.75 in order to enter into the bearish side trade in hourly time frame and as long as the price action is trading above this blue color support line we can expect the bullish trend to continue in hourly time frame let us mark the support and resistance levels so the values within this blue color boxes are the resistance and support levels for current price action in hourly time frame currently the price action in hourly time frame is trading between the resistance level of 24 point 01 and support level of 23.86 wait for the price action to break this resistance level of 24.01 and next level of resistance it's going to be around 24.23 24.53 and 24.86 and if the price action bounces back from the resistance level of 24.01 on the bearish side retracement the immediate support is going to be around 23.86 23.71 23.52 and 23.21 let us look at the price action in 30 minutes time frame i am in 30 minutes time frame and currently we are noticing the price action to take support on the bullish channel pattern trend line or the support line from the daily time frame and to bounce back on the bullish side retracement presently it is finding resistance on the resistance line from the 4 hours time frame wait for the proper breakout from this resistance line where you can freshly enter on the bullish side trade in 30 minutes time frame or wait for the price action to break this hourly time frame trend line or the support line in order to get the confirmation on the bearish side retracement for now the current trend of the price action in 30 minutes time frame is on a bullish trend the values within this blue color boxes are the resistance and support levels for current price action in 30 minutes time frame currently the price action is trading between the resistance level of 24.06 and support level of 
wait for the price action to break this support level of 23.79 in order to freshly enter into the bearish side trade in 30 minutes time frame and next level of support is going to be around 23.62 23.48 23.34 23.14 and 23.89 and if the price action takes support on this support level of 23.79 and bounces back on the bullish side retracement the immediate resistance is going to be around 24.06 and refer the hourly time frame resistance levels for the bullish side. So currently we are noticing the price action in 30 minutes time frame to be also consolidating within this resistance and support level. Wait for a proper breakout from this resistance level or from this support level in order to enter into the directional trade in bearish side or on the bullish side. Let us mark the support and resistance levels for 15 minutes time frame. So the values within this blue color boxes are the resistance and support levels for current price action in 15 minutes time frame. Currently the price action is trying to break the resistance level of 24.00 and if the price action fails to break this resistance level, the immediate support is going to be around 23.95. And once the price action breaks its support level of 23.95, next level of support is going to be around 23.91, 23.87, 23.83 and 23.75. And on the bullish side, if the price action breaks the resistance level of 24.00, next level of resistance is going to be around 24.07, 24.15 and 24.26. That's all the analysis for today. Thank you for watching this video. If you have found this video to be useful, press that like button and share this video with your friends.